Number 38. Complete and balance each of the following half reactions, which are steps two through five in the half reaction method. And then we have letter C. So we have to balance this half reaction. So it's uh, zinc sulfide, ZNS, which is a solid, yields ZN. Ooh. ZN, right? That's a solid. Plus S2 minus. Okay. So we have our half reaction, right? When we're doing uh, balancing equations, right? With redox reactions, you always have to split them into the half reactions. That's the first step. Since we already have a half reaction, we don't have to do the first step. That's why they, they start you off with uh, step number two, because this is already a half reaction. Now just know if they don't tell you what solution you're in, like usually they'll be like, you know, acidic solution or a basic solution. Just know that you're doing the acidic solution. So I wrote down all the steps for you guys. Just know that we only have to go up to step five, but this is the full blown steps in which you have a full redox reaction. So let's give it a go. The first thing that we have to do, since we don't have to do number one, is that we have to balance all elements except hydrogen and except oxygen. So I look here and I say, okay, do I, you know, do I have any hydrogen or oxygen? No. I don't see any hydrogen or oxygen, so I have to balance all the other elements. So let's see. I have a zinc on both sides, Zn and Zn, and I have a sulfur. So I have to balance both. It doesn't matter which one you start with. I'll start with the zinc first. I have one zinc on my left side, and I have one zinc on my product side. So that's balanced, one for one. I don't have to do anything there. I have one sulfur on my reactant side. I have one sulfur on my product side, the right side. So I don't have to do anything there. Notice that this is not a number of quantity, right? This is not how many sulfurs you have. This is the charge, which we will get to later. So I don't have to do anything for this step. So that's done. Now for the third step, you go for the oxygens. You balance the oxygens by adding water, right? H2O. But just like we said, I scan this and I don't even see any oxygen. So if you don't have that element, skip over the step. It's that simple. The same thing for hydrogen. I look at this, I said, okay, do I have any hydrogen on my, on my left or my right side? No. So I, I tried, but I could just skip over it. So now we're at the last step for a half reaction. You always are going to balance the electrons, right? or actually you're gonna balance the charges by adding electrons. And electrons are E negative, right? They're a negative charge because they're, they're negative, right? Electrons are negative. And you're always gonna add them to the more positive side of your half reaction. So the thing is, out of my left and my right side, which side is more positive? So this is what I like to break this down, right? And I like to get the total charges on the left and the right side and compare them. You only have to look in the upper right-hand corner for each element or compound that they give you. You don't have to find the individual elements. You look at the, the whole thing as a whole. So in this case, I would look at the whole compound, ZNS, and find out what the overall charge is. You always go for that upper right-hand corner. But I don't see a charge here, right? You see, for this one, there was a charge. That's what you're looking for, things in the upper right-hand corner but I don't see a charge here. So if you don't see a charge, it's neutral. It's neither positive nor negative. So it's a zero. So the overall uh, charge on the left-hand side is a zero, okay? Now let's figure out what the overall charge is for the right-hand side. I'm going for that zinc. I'm looking in the upper right-hand corner, but I don't see anything. So that's a zero, right? And I have one of these, so overall zero. And what about this one? Well, now I do see a charge in the upper right-hand corner. It's a two minus, and I only have one, right? So one times a negative two is a negative two. And now just like these are being added together, right? There's a plus sign there. I have to add these two charges. So zero plus a negative two, or zero minus two, is a negative two. And these are your two overall charges, right? I have a zero for my left side and I have a negative two total charge on my right side. You're always gonna add electrons to the more positive side. So out of a zero, 
or a negative 2, which one is more positive on a number line? Yeah, totally this side, right? So I know that I have to add electrons, but now how many do I add? Well, you add as many in which you take the more positive answer and you bring it down to the more negative. So on a number line, how many numbers is 0 and negative 2 away from each other? 2, right? I need to go 2 bunny hops to go from a 0 to a negative 2. So I add 2 electrons. And that's it. That's the whole thing. You only have to go from there, you know, get there, if they just give you a half reaction. So this would be 2E negative plus ZNS solid yields ZN solid plus S2 minus aqueous. And, and that's it. That was pretty simple. What do you guys think? Hopefully these are getting, you know, more and more simple as, as we just practice. And that's all that chemistry is, and that's all that learning is, is you just keep practicing, 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 and you will get much better, all right? So let's just keep practicing. We've got tons of questions, tons of questions coming up. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are studying hard and that you're doing well in your tests and quizzes. So yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. If you want to click the subscribe button, love you guys. You guys are awesome. I'll see you in, I'll see you all in the next uh, lesson. All right, next video. I'll see you then. Bye.